What is up guys, Call here. Today we're having a look at the PA09 from Engineer. This is a uh, crimper for probably the smallest crimps you can find for uh, JST connectors and such. It's made by Engineer as I said and it's similar to the the nippers, the knivers and the, the long nose pliers I showed you the other day. Um, so this one is not an automatic as you might have seen on uh, uh, on a lot of other tools that you can buy. Uh, I've seen a lot of different different brands but they all have the same principle looking like this and don't cost that much. This one is the automatic one with the release up here. They work but I found that the actual crimp on the other one gets better. So if we have a look you have uh, you have different sizes that it compiles to so from one millimeter to 1.9 and you also have a flat piece here at the end I'm trying to get the camera to focus and also show you a flat piece at the end to straighten out and this camera doesn't show that well but there's a there's a little notch at the top like where the dot is and uh, that bends in the the connector I'll show you that in a minute it comes with a locking hatch so it stays closed and it's also spring based I guess if you want to you could change the spring to a harder one or a softer one if you want also has some holes down here that you can put a lanyard in or something like that and it's got a big bolt through the middle I guess if you wanted to take it apart but I don't see any reason for it feels quite sturdy but still very light I mean it's about the third of the weight of this one I would say and the size when storing it as well so uh, good to have something in your back pocket if you're doing a lot of crimps compared to this beast so to say and this one does have it says 0 0.5 but I never got a good crimp of that up to up to 6 whilst you have to have different sizes of the engineers one uh, but this one has worked out great for the, um, the regular servo plugs like like this one uh, what it doesn't come with is a uh, is a wire stripper so you have to have a, a plier or knife or something like this to, to strip the wire so let's have a look at the difference in between the, the engineering one and the, let's call it the random one so let's put it in there and as I said these ones do come a little bent out as you can see which means that if you were to place it in this it would just slide to the side so what you do is you place it in the front and then bend it so that it's it's now straight and that will work so let's put in the wire. Of course, we can spin it around so it works better. Shovel you go like that, and then you choose the proper size. I'm not sure which one this is, but let's go for this one. Is that too large? Let's go for that one instead. And then you just push it in doesn't have an indicator but it does almost come on focused almost bottoms out and that gives us well it is stuck in there so I'm not sure if that's the actual correct size for it I've had this problem before but just wiggle it back and forth and it will come loose and that gives us a really nice crimp so let's go with the end one as well. 
of course the more you do it the better you get at it I don't think you need to push the wire in as much so that gives us I mean I'm not a pro at crimping wires but that's a good crimp in my eyes even though it's a little bent backwards you can all always straighten that out you could actually use the back side of this to just push it a little bit that didn't really work with this one uh, let's try another one with the automatic and you see how that one does out of the box so let's strip a do about the same I mean it isn't the actual wire we're looking at here it's more of the process behind it and of course I'm gonna do this the wrong way probably because this one I mean it does have two slots on it I'm not really sure how to do it there were no instructions could probably google it but let's see if this does a good crimp I mean this piece of junk could do and here's where I would like to have that straightening out part because this one just leans to the side I guess I could use that but it doesn't have the same function as the engineer one let's put it something like that and push it in and then depress it and compare the crimps side by side they look come on they look about the same but as you can see the yellow one with the automatic ones it's more flattened out it's wider so they'll probably not fit in in the connector come on come on camera um, and generally was even though there were two steps with the, the engineering one and one step with the other one this one gives a better result in my eyes uh, and of course you can switch to whatever size you want to match if you want to push in push in the cables just a bit more to have the crimping or use a larger one to stop you from ruining the wire well, thank you for checking out my, um, my little hands-on with the PA09 connecting pliers. And uh, I will see you next time.